Welcome Scorpio to Amore e Bella Tarot. Uh, do like, share, subscribe and comment. So that is the fuel that keeps me motivated for some free entertainment. This is for the fourth week of May, Scorpio. So um, what else was I going to say? Um, I am... I am available to do personal readings, so do do take a look at the link down below, Scorpio. Um, Spirits of Peace and Love, this is for our beautiful Scorpios for the fourth week of May. What advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Scorpios? Uh, know that this is not going to reside with the masses, Scorpio, so take what resides and leave the rest. Oh, that's beautiful. That is the High Priestess. You have evolved to a higher self here, Scorpio. You see things differently. You know your value. You know your worth. I love that card. All right. That's that's you have evolved to almost a jellyness to your higher self here, Scorpio. That's beautiful. It's a piece of love. What advice and guidance do we have for beautiful Scorpios? For this uh, fourth week of May, Spirits of Peace and Love, Romance Angels. What advice do we have for our beautiful Scorpios for this fourth week of May? Yeah? Everything's looking like it's going back to normality, Scorpio, so I'm very happy about that. Separation. Time apart from uh, your partner is on the horizon, so maybe you are not talking to somebody. Maybe you ghosted somebody here, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio never goes to people, huh? Sorry, cross watcher. <laughs> All right, spirits, peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for Scorpios for this fourth week of May? Spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for beautiful Scorpios for this fourth week of May? Spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Scorpios for this fourth week of May? We have the King of Pentacles, the King of a, a coin. So you're very abundant, very solid here, Scorpio. You're working on your money, you're working on your coins, you're looking good. All right, spirits of peace and love. What advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Scorpios for this fourth week of May? June is right around the corner, guys. I can't believe it. <clears throat> Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Scorpios for this fourth week of May? Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Scorpios? Spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have? We have a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, Scorpio. Finally. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I am a Scorpio, so... All right. All right, spirits of peace and love, what advice and guidance do we have for all of our beautiful Scorpios? Spirits of peace and love. Thank you, Father Almighty. Amen. All right, Scorpio, what do we have? Attraction. Yeah, yeah, baby. We are attracting something good. That's all I got to say. It better be good. It better be good, Scorpio. That's all I got to say. All right, what else do we have? Spirits of peace and love for... What advice and guidance do we have for our beautiful Scorpios? We have protection. So you have protection from the heavens here, um, Scorpio. You have... Uh, maybe your ancestors are, are really taking care of you. So wish and you shall receive, Scorpio. Ask and you shall receive. The heavens are on your behalf. What else do we have for Scorpios here on this uh, fourth week of May? We have release. So release any toxic toxic people, any toxic energies that are being thrown at you, Scorpio. Don't, um, don't let any of that energy in, all right? Release anything that is not bringing forth peace and love into your life. All right, what else do we have for our beautiful Scorpios? We have power. You're taking your power back, Scorpio. You're... Um, you're taking a, a, a hold of your reins and you're going to ride this one out and you're going to make it. You're going to make a beautiful, beautiful, abundant life. Yes, Scorpio, that's beautiful. You're taking your power back because you have realized that you can take on the world here, Scorpio. Only you can bring happiness to yourself, Scorpio. Don't ever depend on the foreign or outsiders to bring you joy and happiness. 
your joy and happiness, Scorpio, has to come within, all right? Within oneself. You have to love yourself and you have to respect yourself because you live with yourself for a long time, okay? You're going to calmer waters here, Scorpio. You're no longer stagnant. You're no longer going to um, accept any... Um, negative energy you're not you're just walking away till you're taking your little boat and you're going to a calmer happier place where there is truth solidarity and long-term commitment yes that's what you want scorpio you want the full abundance commitment for long term yes all right why is this knight of pentacles here it is a slow coming here scorpio but it's coming all right the Knight of Pentacles is slow, but it's coming, and it will be a partnership of equal give and take, Scorpio. Beautiful. That's what you're attracting. That's right. That's beautiful, Scorpio. All right, let's uh, continue here with this uh, protection from the heavens, spirits of peace and love. What, what do we have to tell our beautiful Scorpios? Uh, there was somebody who's trying to be deceiving here, a Scorpio. Somebody's trying to be a slick. <laughs> Yeah, good luck. <clears throat> ah, good luck. All right, spirits of peace and love. Why is the seven of swords here for our beautiful Scorpios? Yep, they've hurt you in the past. This deceitful person here, Scorpio, stabbed you ten times here, Scorpio, right? And uh, you've overcome that pain. All right, you've overcome that pain, and the heavens are taking care of you, and you will no longer accept that energy in your life. <laughs> once you've overcome the Ten of Swords, Scorpio, once you've overcome this painful, you've endured this painful, dece deceiving, uh, you will not ever accept it again. All right, spirits of peace and love, what do we have for our beautiful Scorpios? And they're trying to... <laughs> this person, okay, this is funny. This uh, person is trying to come back in and offer you a cup of love, Scorpio, okay? After they put you through all this, they're going to come offer you a cup of love. What do you think, Scorpio? What do you think you're going to say, Scorpio? What is Scorpio going to say, spirits of peace and love, when that deceiving person comes forth and offers that, that cup of love? Why is this four of cups here for our beautiful Scorpio spirits of peace and love? <laughs> Yeah, you're going to tell them to. You're going to leave me hanging again like this, like you do every time. Leave me all up in my head, come and offer me this, this love, and then, then you disappear, and then you leave me thinking, and you're not going to accept it. You're going to accept a truth cup of love, the, the biggest cup of love there is, all right? That's beautiful. That's abundant love here, Scorpio, and it's coming your way. This partnership, this solid partnership of equal give and take is coming your way. Yes, that's what you've been claiming and it's coming. The Ace of Cups, Scorpio, that's beautiful. And then here we have release. So you have to release some very toxic. You have to release some really toxic individuals here. Um, Scorpio, they keep coming around, they come back in, and then they, 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 they have put you through this much pain, Scorpio. I don't foresee you accepting the petty cup of love because you know what you deserve here, Scorpio. You know you deserve the, the biggest cup that's overflowing and truthful in love, in um, abundance, all right? And you are releasing and taking action. You're releasing and taking action here, Scorpio. You're going to whatever, you're going into wherever your ninth cup is, where it's going to be abundant, all right? Where is Scorpio going with this fast action uh, card here, the chariot? The heavens are on your behalf here, Scorpio. The heavens are helping you take, make an ending to a chapter and taking action towards your new happiness to your abundant overflowing cup of love here scorpio 
Okay, why is this uh, Wheel of Fortune here for Scorpio Spirits of Peace and Love? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Yes. <clears throat> Look at what you have uh, become, Scorpio. You are one with the universe. You are very intuitive. You know what you deserve. You know your value and you know what you want. Yeah. They cannot deceive you any longer. You've already dedicated too much energy to that ugly, toxic individual there, Scorpio, and you are moving on. <laughs> you are taking power and you are claiming your true love, yes. I think you're going to open your mind now, uh, Scorpio. I think you have been closed-minded for quite some time. And now you've opened your heart, you've opened your eyes, and you are ready to embrace, yes, the Queen of Cups. That's your energy, Scorpio. You're ready to take your power back. You're ready to embrace and and um, manifest that perfection of uh, union. That's beautiful, uh, Scorpio. I love it because you have evolved. You have endured that deceiving individual, and now you're gonna get your your ten of pentacles, your happy home, your abundant home. Yeah, you've been claiming it to the heavens, uh, Scorpio, and it's coming to you. You will be victorious. You will be victorious. Uh, the heavens are on your behalf, and it is time for you to get your happy, abundant, loving partnership. All right? Beautiful, Scorpio. That's, that's what happens when you uh, go within and you evolve. You know your worth, and when you release all those toxic energies there, Scorpio. All right, all right. Spirits of peace and love, let's clarify for our beautiful Scorps. What do we got here? What more advice do we have for our beautiful Scorpios? <clears throat> no more fighting for you, Scorpio. There will be no more arguments and fighting for you. Uh, uh, you're holding tightly to your feelings and to your emotions, Uh and uh, you're, you're not going to make any decision anytime soon. You're going to take your time. You're going to weigh the odds and the good and the bad. And the, and then you're going to be victorious twice. You have the, the six of uh, wands twice. This is victory. Look how beautiful. She's won like you've won an Oscar. Uh, you could be winning an Oscar here, Scorpio. But you're victorious. It says twice, so don't worry. And you're going to have your partner that is uh, vibing just as high as you are, Scorpio, and they they will be offering your marriage, and that is what you've been waiting for, right? That's beautiful, beautiful, Scorpio. Oh, oh, oh. All right, victory twice. How could you go wrong with that? And then here we have the marriage card again, Scorpio, so you might be a uh, marriage card um, doesn't have to be marriage. This is just a committed relationship, equal give and take. Um, maybe you'll be moving in. Maybe you're just going to evolve to a higher level of relationship. <clears throat> All right, and here you have the hangman. You have uh, stayed stale for quite some time here, Scorpio. You've, you've not made any action or any movements because you want to see clearly you want to you want to analyze. Um, you want to make the best decision here, uh, Scorpio. You've gone within. And you're taking your power back. You're um, getting your ten of pentacles twice, okay? And you are just look at you. You're res you you look beautiful, and you're gonna get your your perfect perfect relationship here, Scorpio. You've waited a long time. And it's coming your way. You will be victorious here, Scorpio. Beautiful. You take your power back. You release all those ugly, toxic energies. And look at what you get, Scorpio. All right, Romance Angels. What advice do we have for beautiful Scorpios here for this fourth week of May? Worth waiting for. Divine timing is is at work in your love life. The heavens are working on your behalf and what's, what you deserve is coming your way. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right. So maybe you both will be in the same um, 
mental uh, stage of your religious uh, status here, Scorpio. And it says, you deserve love. You are lovable and you are going to be successful and victorious. And you will accept this big, abundant, overflowing cup of love, Scorpio. You deserve it. Unrequilted love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you have released that energy here, Scorpio. You've released it. You took your power back. And now you're moving forward to happier, uh, truthful, loving. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, all right, uh, Scorpio. So I don't think that you will be really... Um, in any surprise here, Scorpio, I think you're in a good place. You've overcome a lot of pain. You've gotten rid of all those ugly, toxic people, and I don't think you're taking them back. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much. You're going to be victorious. Yeah, yeah. Blessings.